Here's a map of ancient Egypt. I've inserted two sticks or obelisks, one up here in Alexandria and one down here in Syene. Now, if at a certain moment, each stick casts no shadow, no shadow at all, that's perfectly easy to understand, provided the Earth is flat. If the shadow at Syene is at a certain length and the shadow at Alexandria is the same length, that also makes sense on a flat Earth. But how could it be, Eratosthenes asked, that at the same instant there was no shadow at Syene and a very substantial shadow at Alexandria? The only answer was that the surface of the Earth is curved. Not only that, but the greater the curvature, the bigger the difference in the lengths of the shadows.